Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for This Week in YouTube is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. is This Week in YouTube, episode 20, recorded August 26, 2013. Live from YouTube, it's Saturday night! This episode of This Week in YouTube is brought to you by ProXPN. ProXPN is a virtual private network that allows you to use the internet the way it should be, anonymous and unfiltered. For 20% off your new account, go to proxpn.com slash twit and use the code TWIYT. And by Shutterstock.com. With over 1 million high-quality video clips, Shutterstock helps you take your creative project to the next level. For 30% off new accounts, go to Shutterstock.com and use offer code TWIYT8. Hello and welcome to This Week in YouTube. I'm your host, Chad Johnson. As always, we have our second host. Actually, I'm probably the second host. We have our first host, Lamar Wilson. How are you doing? No, no, no. You're the host with the most, so <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. How do you say, hi, I'm Chad jo I'm the co-host of this you show. You're not, you're not the co-host. You open the show. You're the main host. Okay. I don't yeah, think well, so. I think you have better knowledge than I have about Yeah, but you're, you have the seats and the controls. Yeah, so but I, I only have that I'm, because I'm of physical location. I'm at your mercy. That's okay. Okay. How are you doing, Lamar? How's it been? I'm, don't, I'm doing good. Um, I see that you're... You have a little partner there that you're growing. <laughs> <laughs> on my face, yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, looks, looks good on you. You know, I've I've named him Starence and if you, if you if you color it red, I'm done. Yeah, no. The okay. Just one. That would you. be too that's the same thing. Like same thing with that people mention the eyebrows every once in a while. I say that once you go that far, yeah. You you can't, can't go back. No, yeah, you've 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 crossed into something that's that's very difficult and and bad bad. Yeah. Well, I'm proud into. of you for finally getting facial hair. That's that's awesome. Thanks, You're, thanks. You are growing up. It's been You're... it's been 24 years coming. So <laughs> exactly. I'm glad I got it too. Uh, we have a little bit of housekeeping to do um, today. Yeah. Uh, YouTube, the YouTube creators page on Google Plus, uh, gave us a little bit of a headline. And what was yeah. that, Lamar? Yeah, they have. Uh, this is one of the first times they they've I actually announced it, but they have scheduled maintenance tonight. So if you're watching this live, uh, which a lot of you all are, uh, tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific, they will start. Uh, where YouTube will be accessible, but it's in read only mode from 6 to 10 p.m. What read only mode basically means is you cannot. You can watch a video, your views will be counted, but people will not be able to comment, will not be able to like, will not be able to favorite, add to a playlist or any of those those things, or you won't be able to do a live event, or if you're in the middle of a live event, you won't be able to stop it. So <laughs> they, will, they will force you to, to stay there at a live event until they are done. That's the funniest part right there. That like, is hilarious. And not leave. It's funny because we're actually trying our, um, to get uh, us to be able to do a live event for every one of the This Week in YouTube uh, yeah. shows. <laughs> and how funny would that be? Because it's actually happening at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Yes. And we are recording this at a time in the day uh, yeah. that I know. Um <laughs> and I think it's pretty close to that time. I believe it's 5 p.m. Pacific. There we yeah. go. We're at 5.13 at the moment. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, and so, yeah, that would be funny. if we, Because if we were actually doing a live event, we would be stuck in that we'll live event. I don't know. Like, I, I have to wonder, is your camera not shut off? Or, like, what What exactly What exactly goes on there? That's yeah. funny. I, well, it yeah. seems like if you unplug it, you know, you're... You're I would I would hope so. Done, but I guess it would still be streaming something. Man. That's hilarious. Yeah, that's so, weird. Yeah, so if you are um, planning on uploading something in between the times of 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., <laughs> you just won't be able to. Even our show, we it may be uploaded a little bit later because we normally upload right after this, and so our people are probably going to hold off until after that time, or maybe tomorrow morning. We'll see. Right. Uh, yeah, what's the best thing uh, for us? So, yeah, just a quick housekeeping. I'm glad, you know, Chad, they never let us know anything. I think they're starting to get pressure of telling creators 
when you know, and it's nice they put it on Google Plus, but they never tweeted it. Yeah, it's and, uh, and, yeah. and most of the people wa read them on Twitter, so yeah. it was kind of silly they didn't do. You that. and me probably remember back to the day where it was. It seemed like once a week we were getting a. YouTube is in maintenance. Where stuff's going to be screwy, just deal with it. Um, but now, mm -hmm. now they actually have a Google Plus page. Like back in the day, like they just didn't have a a um, a, no. a medium to to tell anyone. So it's it's nice that they are now um, kind of moving in that direction. Um, yeah, it's it's a good thing. So yeah. that's that's good. I won't complain about it. Cool. So that brings us to our first bit of YouTube news. About mm -hmm. uh, is it what every every week? Obviously, uh, uh, Tube Filter does the top fifty most viewed uh, YouTube channels of the week. And uh, this week, I just kind of wanted. We both wanted to sort of touch on a few trends that we've been seeing. Uh, if we go down the top five, it's uh, Sky Does Minecraft, Katy Perry Vivo, Disney Collector BR. Uh, Lady Gaga and movie clip trailers. Yeah, Lady Gaga had a new video come out that made sense. Yeah, and she uh, she raised four hundred and thirty one percent uh, views wow. over the, the previous weeks. That's awesome. And same thing with Katy Perry. She got a hundred percent more views than uh, the week before. Um, but if you look at the people who are at the top, it's mm -hmm. the people that you you know you see you know and who haven't changed much uh, week over week. The Disney, the, the Smosh, and the Sky does Minecraft. Now Sky does Minecraft has been at the top or near the top for quite a while, um, and it's kind of interesting to to see Sky is not at the top of the most subscribed list. Right, we covered that last right. week. That that's PewDiePie. Right, but Sky is a gamer, and so I, when we were, me and Lamar were just talking earlier, it was just, it was interesting to me that Sky seems to be at the top of the most viewed list for all of YouTube, but he isn't the top of the most subscribed list, which makes, which made us start to postulate his audience. Is it because his audience is a younger audience that hasn't signed up for YouTube yet? Is this because yeah. maybe they're so young? They're not allowed to sign up for YouTube yet because they're under the 13-year uh, age law. Um, uh, or is uh, is that just how his content is delivered? That's what I was kind of thinking. You know, th there there are some channels, and I, let's use tech channels for for an instance. Uh, a lot of people, when they want to look up a phone, let's say they were looking up the, the new Lumia 1020, not a sponsor. Uh, they, they were looking at a... They, they, they will look up, they'll find one video, they'll watch it, get a perspective. They're not going to subscribe to that channel. They, 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 a lot of them look for another one until so they get the answer they want. So I, I'm wondering if it's the same thing with some of these gaming channels is that people are just kind of stopping through. People love Minecraft. They're searching Minecraft. They find this guy. Oh, you know what? You they, just they, linked they, it. If if what? you if you oh, go, I thought I'd lick my microphone. Oh. No, <laughs> if you go to YouTube um, and search for Minecraft, Sky does Minecraft is the top hit. So this is that's, that's what it is. You just hit it. So okay. if, if I search for Minecraft, yeah, he comes up first. Yeah. Amazing, amazing. Even when you search for Minecraft with two eyes. He Amazing comes up first. SEO, dude. That yeah, that's, exactly. So that you is, just hit it. Is is kids are going? They're searching Minecraft. They're finding his videos. Literally the first, what, six videos or so are his? Yes. And and his channel is up there. First channel, first six videos. Wow. Absolutely. Okay. That's the answer. That's, that's the that's answer. What... That's the answer. So anyway, kind of a, a, um, uh, as you're, when you're a creator, it's kind of good to do that sort of search and, and look look at your audience. We're doing it on a very high level with Sky. Um, but this sort of detective work is something that you as a creator is something that you you should really be looking at um, constantly. Look at right. YouTube gives you your analytics data, so go ahead and uh, check check that stuff out because it's mm -hmm. it's good to check out. Yeah, this this is fascinating. I mean that that it's a, it's amazing he was able to get the top spot. That's yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's yeah. so much money. Yeah, so it's a lot of it's a lot of people just stopping through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So on in other news, on Android on the Android side of things. Uh, and, and iOS. And iOS. Oh, have they? Yeah. Oh, I, I missed the uh, the update. It, it originally came out for the Android. Um, yeah. YouTube has updated their app for for both platforms. Um, this adds a few minor uh, changes. Oh, look, I can. I just switched my account to a, uh, a Pages account, so every time I sign into YouTube, it's asking me um, uh, what's going on. But the the main uh, change is that you can now 
um, send videos to like a quick playlist. And then also when you're in a video, so if I'm just going to go ahead and watch um, this one, you can actually make it smaller and move throughout the app. So if I, if I go back, you know, there you go. It is now playing in the corner of my phone, allowing me to go and browse. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> be quiet, BTC. There you go. Um, so I can, you know, I can fling it back to get to get back to it. Um, I can fling it down. Um, now, now, what do you see? What use case do you see for that? Because I, I see one, but like besides just searching, like would, would it be like a certain video that you kind of just want to hear and you don't really want to see? What's, what's going on? With, would that be what that's for? Well, I mean, b both. Obviously, everyone knows that that mobile is where everything is heading. People mm -hmm. who are getting computers today are getting computers as a mobile device. And so um, just the usability factor of being able to look at a video, start playing it, and then go search for your next video is huge to me. That's that's basically what I see. I, I, I don't know if it's, it's very tied to... Audio or, or video or one thing okay. or another. So that's yeah. that would be my point. What do you what think I, this is? Yeah, what, what I really like about it is I have a Chromecast, and I think that's just something that's going to be pretty mainstream very soon. I mean, Google's really pushing this low-cost device. It'll, it'll pretty much be in TVs really soon. What I really like about it is that uh, as I'm watching one video, I'll, I'll sling, you know, sling it down, look up some other videos in my subscription box um, that I want to see right now, and then I'll just click them, and it'll automatically ask me, do you want to play it? Or do you want to send it to your TV queue? And so I find myself going through, clicking about 10, and then leaning back, and then letting the Chrome do its work, the Chromecast do its work, and then I'm able to watch all the videos in a row. I, I think that's kind of cool. I know we were talking, Chad, one, one of the, if it's a negative or it's just a change, like like once you start getting into that mode, you not you may not comment on that video, you may not like that video, but you'll get, maybe people start getting more views because you're looking at it as on TV versus, you know, actually getting a lot more comments. Because my, my my views are 50% mobile, which is really high. Yeah. Uh, and and so I wonder, you know, is that why, many, you know, there may not be as many many likes or many comments because people are just kind of watching it in a queue. Yeah, because you, it's hard. Yeah, think? it is harder harder to interact when you're on a mobile device. Um, and you're right because because this update is is. Because the Google app, because the YouTube app is what you use to control your Chromecast, I'm finding that I'm doing the same thing. Is I'm leaning yeah. back. It's more of a lean back experience. Now, the the question is is is, is this detrimental um, to likes and comments and, and things like that because it's harder to interact with a mobile device? And I think that I would say that this is actually allowing YouTube to reach an audience that they haven't been able to reach before is to is to reach with with everything that YouTube has been doing it with the um, suggested videos to watch when you mm -hmm. get to your subscription box is that they're offering a lean back experience which YouTube so far has not done well at that in order to get into the YouTube experience you had to physically you had to subscribe you had to make sure that you curated your playlist mm -hmm. you had to do all the work and now okay. they're giving you this lean back experience and I hope that this will be a complement to the other experience. Okay, so not a replacement, but a complement. Right, not a mm -hmm. replacement. Hopefully you shouldn't see any decrease decrease in thumbs up and comments and things like that in, in, mm -hmm. in interaction. But for the people who have wanted this all along, that this mm -hmm. is what they can now use. Yeah, and, I, and I, I think, you're right, I think it's an awesome thing. Yeah. And even if there is a slight decrease, but there's more views, then great. Because as creators, we all... If we have one thing to choose, we're gonna choose views. We all we want people yeah. to see our we want people to see our stuff. Right. That's what that's what we create. So. Right. Exactly. Uh, good point. Yeah. Now, I mean, it's funny because as I said that, it reminded me back to the subscription stuff and how mm -hmm. they're forcing that on everyone. So I hope that this isn't something that they're forcing that they're allowing people to have a choice to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I I love I love I love the whole Chromecast YouTube thing. It's it's my new toy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to play with. It's really fun. Yeah, absolutely. So go mm -hmm. uh, head on over to the Play Store or to the um, Apple uh, App Store and go ahead and download the new version of the YouTube app because it is quite fancy to uh, to watch videos while you browse yep. around. And if you're on Windows Phone, uh, uh, yeah, it's tough. Sorry. Yeah, Google's not letting you. <laughs> yeah. If you've been following that controversy, <laughs> yeah. probably won't be getting a YouTube app anytime soon. Poor guys. Yeah. I, I feel bad for them. I do. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Um, but that brings us to our first sponsor for this episode, ProXBN. ProXBN is a virtual private network that uh, allows you to use any internet connection. Basically, what it does is it creates a secure tunnel that all of your information passes back and forth through. And this uh, tunnel will protect you on open Wi-Fi, corporate Wi-Fi against your own internet service provider so that you don't have to worry about things like the six star strikes rule um, or uh, getting those, you know, the I get them all the time is that this video is not available in your country. Um, messages just drive me absolutely nuts. ProXBN is absolutely great. Um, it will encrypt your information from one location to the other, and it comes out on their servers um, in all sorts of uh, different locations in the U.S., U.K., Asia, and more, so that you uh, truly have an, a region-free internet. Uh, there's even a new Pro XBN app for Android uh, on the Google Play Store, and that supports Open VPN. So, if you want to uh, check out the service, head on over to proxbn.com/twit for more information and to sign up. Pro XBN Premium members normally pay ten nine ninety five for a month, or seventy four ninety five for an entire year. But I have a special offer for you. If you use the offer code TWIYT, that's TWIYT, like this week in YouTube, uh, you can receive 20% off the lifetime of your account. That's less than $5 a month on the yearly plan. And if you're not sat satisfied, of course, you can cancel within seven days for a full refund. So head on over to proxbn.com slash twit and sign up with the offer code TWIYT. And we thank ProXBN for their support of our show this week in YouTube. Thank you so much uh, for All sponsoring. Right. So there, we got an awesome, uh, interesting story. We, we've kind of talked a little bit about all the controversy of uh, Mr. Calacanis and, and him predicting the different networks or would start up their own YouTube of sorts. And he may have been right about one of those, at least. It looks like Maker Studio is looking to buy Blip or is already in talks to buy Blip. Uh, and if you don't know who Blip is, it, it's another... YouTube like network usually it's more it was more niche like for shows and things like that and looks like they they're buying this for the sole purpose of taking some of their creators if not off YouTube at least giving them a place to put their videos and maybe embed it into their website first push their audience to that for a higher CPM and then you know put it on YouTube later I think that's that's been Blip's model uh, for the last year or so and it, you know and, and Blip's if Blip yeah. has changed their model for Quite a, quite a bit. Blip they have, has they a, a history. They, they've yeah. been around for a while. Uh, originally, um, I remember seeing them as a podcast distribution platform. So yep. you could send them a single file, and then they would encode various versions and then host all the files. And so you could easily mm -hmm. get uh, your podcast up on iTunes or, and then also distribute it around to other places. Um, and then, and, and I believe both of us have used Blip in the past uh, yeah. as the, it's like the, the pro... Uh, producer uh, is it costs a, a bit per year to get it so that you can get high quality HD um, encodes mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Uh, so uh, this is interesting because what would be happening is the networks, the YouTube networks, would become would be pushing their power to really control every aspect of everything, even distribution. Not yeah. only the content and the ads but the delivery mechanism which is the only thing they're relying on youtube to do yeah i mean we saw this coming i mean it's these maker is one of the bigger ones and they're they're the most aggressive network to me out there uh, that i can see wanting to do this and you know being able to say to their their creators hey you know you can make more money with if you put your videos on this platform first before maybe a week before before you send it to YouTube, try to get all your social net. See, people have to build up their social networks. They have to get websites, email lists, all the things we kind of been talking about the last few weeks yeah. that are good, good for you to do. And 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 maybe this is all coming to a head. The question for you, Chad, which I know is an obvious one: Do you think this move will, like, do you think they can actually take creators off YouTube one hundred percent? Do you think it'll work? <sighs> I think like, that they are going to try. I don't see the YouTube. Um, uh, they may make more money, but but the audience it just cannot possibly be well, there. I was like, how are how when are these networks going to stop? Like they're going to try their hardest to make sure that they can pump 
every and and on top of that be diversified like they are worried about their business model being built on top of youtube and so they're gonna i, I well that's their fault they're gonna try yeah it is their <laughs> fault and that's what they signed up for but now that they're in this boat i i think that every single one of them is looking at their highest liability and it's youtube and they're trying to it, cut it because if you if youtube changed their policy tomorrow it would basically blank their business right because a lot, a lot, and that's why a lot of them are working with brand deals and brand integrations outside of YouTube. Because you, and and it makes sense because you can't count on Google or any company really long term. I mean, these companies change their policies all the time. No, uh, uh, yes. YouTube is a baby. It's still a baby. I mean, okay, it's a seven. What is it? Seven year old? <laughs> still, still kind of a brand. They're you know? still trying to figure it out, and we yeah, can see that every single week with the news. They're still yeah. trying to figure it out. Um, now, Blip, I mean, and on Blip's side, I think that. Blip has made some huge mistakes. I mean, one, on, yeah, I mean, Blip has been frustrating from the very beginning. Um, uh, at, at some point, they, they decided that anyone who was distributing podcasts with them, uh, if a person was downloading a podcast on a non, a non, um, uh, uh, what's the word, like green lit um, podcatcher, they would mm -hmm. download instead of your file a truncated file that said, "Please watch this on your our Blip viewer." Just oh, completely like, wow! I I had, I had been spending you know a hundred dollars a year on the service, and all of a sudden you know Blip does that. So I think that this will definitely save Blip because without it, I don't think that they're going to last um, very long. Yeah, the the the, <laughs> the funny controversial thing about all this is that uh, Ray William Johnson left Maker. Uh, so I'm going to be a big controversy. Still mm -hmm. a pending lawsuit and everything. And he has a new show coming out on Blip. So if make, <laughs> if, if if Maker buys Blip, guess who comes back home? Maybe that's why Blip uh, <laughs> Maker started to look at Blip in the first place. They're like, Ray yeah. William Johnson went where? Wait, He's where like, is you're this not company? Going to, like, you're not going anywhere, buddy. Let's just buy it. Let's yeah. just buy it. Out um, of spite. <laughs> and, and what's the, what's the excuse? Oh, it's gonna make it's gonna make us not uh, rely on uh, yeah. on YouTube anymore. That's that's great. That's great. Yeah. The, the, the interesting thing is that, uh, and I didn't know this until I read the article, is that the Collective, which is another network, uh, Collective Digital Studios, they've done the same thing with uh, uh, what is it pronounced Meta Cafe? Yeah, Meta Cafe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, Meta Cafe, where uh, people, you know, they upload to Meta Cafe. It's on their site. So I think they're trying to duplicate that, which. You know, it's not a bad thing. I think a lot of YouTubers, I think most YouTube personalities don't have websites because we've always looked at YouTube as our website. So if if this does anything to me, it encourages the idea of having your own thing. Absolutely. Uh, no. Yeah. Do you do you think and and this is basically the same question you asked me is is do you think mm -hmm. that that fans can uh, can wrap their heads around and continue to watch people who are on different platforms or have their own website upload to their own servers or to a, a service like Blip or Metacafe? Like, do you think that fans will stand the stress of all that work to watch the content they want to watch? I think the most hardcore loyal fans will. And if you're really big, then 1% to 10% of that is still is still a lot of people. But I think most fans are not going to tolerate it. They, um, I mean, you look at this show. We 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 have it on twit.tv, and it streams just fine. Right. But th no, when we had the problems with YouTube, they were not having it. They want We want to watch it on YouTube. They want to go to one place, watch it in one familiar setting, and they don't want to use other sites even if they stream it just as well. It is amazing that the mentality of, of, of fans, of, of that they just, they're comfortable in one place. The only way, way that I could see that, the, that this truly takes off is if there is another overarching platform that can, that can handle YouTube, Blip, Metacafe, everything, almost like a Twitter for video content where you can mm -hmm. subscribe that way and then watch on whatever player that or whatever content i i still say i still say let's watch amazon and and yahoo very carefully yeah oh yeah i i, I they i mean the server yeah. and experience combined i, I think something yeah. magical oh the, o the only other thing i would say which i mentioned um to you personally was mm. if blip maybe could get um a deal with with uh, netflix that yes, they are a curator, and only good stuff will pass through Blip's doors. Then and then that good stuff goes to Netflix, or or maybe Xbox. You know, you know uh, the marketplace on Xbox or, or yeah. they're a curator. That's the only other way that I could see that this works. No, that, that was a good point. So, um, okay. Right. So if you are thinking, you know what, I'm done. 
done with this YouTube stuff. It's getting too hairy. Where should I move next? I'm thinking Saturday Night Live. Um, yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's do you it. And I. Me and you. And you. I. Um, let's head on over to Saturday Night Live. I, I think that they're hiring. Um, this is a uh, story from Tube Filter uh, mentioning that all the new Saturday Night Live cast members may all come from YouTube. Uh, it looks like they're pulling their talent pool from from YouTube and and looking to uh, to who has grown and and you know it's practically okay. a demo reel. Okay, let's let's call this what it is. Saturday Night Live is desperate. They have no other things going on. What, what and became so really the, big? Laser yeah, and cats. So, <laughs> really? You know, is that a laser thing? cats on there was a big Saturday Night Live hit. You know, I'm uh, on a boat. Okay. Oh yeah. The you Lonely know, Island. The, oh, yeah. yeah the, yep. Yep. Those guys, they came from okay. YouTube. I'm thinking they're thinking, listen, we need amateurs that we can pay very little that will make no <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But but yeah, it, like even this guy on a, on a cover, it's funny because I was at YouTube Comedy Week, the actual show, and he was hosting it. And it, and like if you didn't know, like I, I was told that he was a comedian. It was an act because he was hosting horribly. Like he would forget lines and and like mumble. And I didn't realize that was his character. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and and so and so I think that kind of that kind of thing pro, pro, kind of propelled him up there. Yeah. Um, and it, it's interesting because they have. Him and a few others have around the same amount of subscribers I have, so I'm like, "Where's my Where's my offer?" But yeah. I'm not gonna Six, I'm not gonna go there. Saturday Night Live, yeah, been here. <laughs> you know, but it, it's it's interesting. Like, I'm actually fascinated that you know this transition to you know they'd be interested in some people who are on YouTube. I know Daily Grace and some others they do sketch and they've done some other outside things. I, I guess the question I wanted to ask to you and then to the audience is. Would you leave YouTube like they say? Yeah, you can. You know, we want to give you this offer, but you have to. You have to stop your YouTube channel. But you. But you'll sign up for a year or two at Saturday Night Live. Would you leave YouTube to do SNL? Knowing that it was temporary, if it was only for two years, like if it was like, I was gonna say joining the army, but if it was like you know somebody that, <laughs> which doesn't relate at all. If if it was if it was temporary, maybe maybe the the problem is leaving YouTube for even. Three to six months is a death sentence. Oh yeah, yeah. So you can you couldn't come back from that unless, unless you unless you were bigger right. than you left. Right. I mean, basically, Saturday I have to be like huge. make sure that I'm on every episode of Saturday Night Live. Yeah. yeah. Um, I okay. So so you gave your answer. I would. Um, man, I I wouldn't do it for Saturday Night Live. I would do it for a sitcom. <laughs> for for sit for a sitcom. You wouldn't would. do it for MSNBC or see that I would totally like try to be a, a tech pundit. <laughs> Really? That might be cool. Okay. No. I don't know. TV is TV is a weird game. Yeah, because you can get in and just be can yeah, and I get on a sitcom and it gets canceled in two episodes yeah. and I'm Yeah. And you have thirty producers saying, Yeah, I don't like that idea. Yeah. And then I'll sign a contract that if I get fired or, or quit or whatever, I can't go back to YouTube for a year. You know, like they have yeah. a lot of clauses like oh, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sign up for a show and, and anything else is, that competes with that show, you gotta stop. So if you're gonna do a tech show on on some uh, on a news channel, bam, you no more tech shows anywhere else because it might it might eat into mm -hmm. it might eat into what you're doing. Yeah, it definitely could be blacklisted. I, I, man, it's it's tempting because like the money will probably be better than what I'm making, but you know, is it is it about the money or is it about me growing my brand? But then if I'm growing my brand, what am I growing my brand for? To what end? Is it is it to get get a show or is it to just get bigger on YouTube? Like, what is the point of growing a brand if you can't use that brand to, exactly. to go, and, go and further? Yeah. I mean, uh, hopefully, we and we've seen that with internet celebrities, a downshift can work. If you, if you're big on the, on, on television, you can easily downshift to be a, a YouTube or, or podcast personality. If you're good. If you're good. If you're really good. That, there's some, there's some of those like the Shaq Comedy Network that's oh, yeah. like utterly failing, and, and some other like you, you have to already be known for what you you're about to do. You have to kind of be a self starter. You, you kind of have to still have that personality that 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 thrives on YouTube. Yeah. Um, and so, it, Go ahead. I feel like if it was you or me, we'd do that anyway. I mean, we would, you know. But if it, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all based it's, off personality. It's yeah, it's it's, it's tough. I like I would have a tough time deciding that. Right. Right. Well, uh, it's time to thank our second sponsor of this episode, Shutterstock.com. Shutterstock is the perfect sponsor for this week in YouTube because you can head on over to Shutterstock and find your 
favorite image or video to add to your next creation. Uh, Shutterstock has tons and tons of stuff for you to check out. Uh, you can choose from over 1 million high quality video clips. Uh, there's 2D, 3D animation, motion graphics. Shutterstock sources these clips from around the world and puts them at your fingertips. So you can just browse through, decide what you want. Um, it also has a really sophisticated search. Uh, the tools that you have are resolution resolution, category, contributor, uh, and more. So you can try out Shutterstock today uh, and sign up for a free account. There is no credit card needed. Uh, just start an account uh, and begin using Shutterstock to find your next image. You can just use it as a way to find inspiration to see what your next project uh, could be like and then save it to your clip box. Once you decide to purchase, use our offer code TWIYT. T8, uh, and new accounts will receive 30% off any package. So that's Shutterstock.com. For 30% off new accounts, use offer code TWIYT8. And we thank Shutterstock for their support of This Week in YouTube and truly great sponsor to help you take your next creative project, video, anything to the next level. Thanks, Shutterstock. So, Chad, yes, you have an excellent tip, trick, advice thingy uh, for us today. Do you want to share that with I us? I do, and I, it's funny because I originally I thought that I would be really good at coming up with these tips because I'm kind of rebooting the whole YouTube thing. So while I was doing that, I found out um, something that I didn't I didn't know that was really really useful. If you if you head on over to your YouTube page. Okay. There's this little thing over on the side. You see these featured channels over on the side, and then underneath that, there are related channels on YouTube. Now, oh, your yeah. initial reaction might be, get those things out of there. I don't want people to come to my YouTube uh, page and then see all these other channels and then leave. I want them to subscribe to me. I'm just, I'm trying to become internet famous <laughs> here, right? Well, <laughs> actually, it's really, really great to... One, enable them, and two, know how to enable some, enable them. So head on over to your About page. That's where you edit this. And then scroll down to Featured Channels, and you can uh, edit the module or remove the module if you want. Um, if you go ahead and edit, you can add extra um, people. So let's just say, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, Smosh. Smosh is my favorite um, thing. Actually, you know what? I, you actually have to enter the URL. Yeah, the URL. Yeah. yeah. So, so just doing Smosh didn't do. I got this thing. That is weird. Oh, actually, it did work now with the username. Oh, oh, well, it's you know what? Because I did Snosh. You did Snosh. So <laughs> Snosh, me and Snosh. Okay, you you better subscribe to Snosh right. now. Right. Because yeah. subscribe to Snosh immediately. <laughs> um, so, so you can just do that. Um, and then it'll show up in your featured uh, channels um, when when people uh, go over to the About uh, section. Now, I decided... Now, go ahead. I just want to ask you real quick. Uh, what, what's, what's the advantage of, of featuring people that you may know? What does that do for them? So the things that it will accomplish on your channel is it mm -hmm. lets YouTube know sort of what bubble you're in. So if for someone like me that's making Let's Plays, that's doing a few vlogs, that's trying to become that sort of personality, I'm mm -hmm. going to want to group myself around those other types of people so that YouTube knows to recommend me either on their videos or whenever they search for that sort of content. So let's say maybe oh. um, you are you're into uh, making your own home uh, how-to videos. Well, go yeah. ahead and try to find other channels that are similar to you, and then add them to your future channel list. And that way, YouTube sort of knows uh, what what sort of uh, group you are part of. Smart. On top of that, um, there is this uh, other, uh, the, there's the related channel. So, so here's the second part of this, is that YouTube will try to guess other channels that it also thinks should be next to you. Now, you can disable this. So if you want to keep everyone on your channel, maybe keep it like looking clean or, or whatever, um, you can disable it. But the thing that you lose is that your channel will never be on the related channels list if you disable it. So not only are you disabling people leaving uh, or people seeing that uh, of those other channels, but you're also disabling you being seen on other people's channels. Oh, okay. Um, so that is a good thing to know. That's so, really good to know because... If you try to lock out other people, I don't want I don't want my competition to, to be on here because they're related to me. 
but oh, you could you could disable it, but then you'll never be related on their stuff right. or anybody else's stuff. So that's a really good tip, Chad. Wow, right. thank you. And uh, one teeny tiny extra thing: mm -hmm. if uh, for some reason you want everyone's name to be like this person's my top uh, uh, relate featured channel, um, MySpace, you like could do that. Yeah, you could <laughs> be like, "Hey, you're my top ten friends," you know, or whatever. You can oh, do that. Boy. But I've enabled something called shuffling, so I've clicked a mm -hmm. little shuffle, and so it will randomly choose. If I just go ahead and refresh, it'll randomly choose who is in this list and and where they show up. So I'm not you giving one person favoritism over another. Yeah, you, you know why that's good? Because if you have like 12 different people or more, they can't all be seen in that in that list. So the shuffling gets a chance for all of them to be seen eventually. So yeah, that, it looks that, like yeah. the top 10 people get seen. 10, okay. But, but after that, it drops off. Mm -hmm. So that's what my right. YouTube tip is this week. Awesome, Lamar, dude. What have you yes, been sir. doing this past week? Have you uploaded any good videos or anything that I should know about? Wait, me? Good videos? I don't yeah. know what that's... Um, I had... Uh, hold on. My, my tab just went away. So while that's, while I'm putting that up... Well, actually, it'll come up pretty fast. I did. So last week, I put up a video about the Lumia 1020. Not a sponsor. Well, for that video, it was. <laughs> but not for this. So I, I, I did that, and I focused on the camera. Um, they, they, had, they sent it to a lot of YouTubers, and I focused on the camera uh, and, and the picture quality. That was nice. And then I did kind of a, a interesting sketch thing where I was talking about the rumors of the the, the gold iPhone and the iPhone 5C, and where I, I'm, I'm like weirdly talking to myself and having a conversation. It's it's really creepy, uh, but I think <laughs> I think you enjoy it. And I'm not a person that's big on numbers because I don't I don't think they mean anything. But I did hit 200,000 subscribers just a few minutes ago. Oh, you so. did? Yeah, I did. Oh, uh, you did? Oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so you're that's, right. That's a, that's a milestone. You're at 200,016 yeah. right now. That's awesome. Oh, Thank that's you. That's really, really cool. So what's going to be your 200,000th uh, video, uh, subscriber Tom video? Tomorrow I'm doing a video. Well, I have decided it's going to be called the Big A Box, you know, the word, or just a big box. But I I have this big box that I'm going to be putting a lot of things I've gotten from different companies. And I may, I'm going to throw some speakers in there. I might throw an iPad in there and, and just have a giveaway, one lucky Long-time fan or short-time fan will get just this big box for me, oh, and that's it's cool. be, like it's gonna be it's gonna be like hundreds of dollars worth of stuff in there. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna kind of set it up in the video, show you some stuff I'm putting in it, and I'll keep some stuff secret. And then one, I'll figure out how to do that tomorrow, whether it be on YouTube or Twitter or whatever. But yeah, that's, that's my that's my little unique way of giving giving back or saying thank you. So that's really cool. That's really yeah. Great. I, I didn't want to skydive, so I decided to do this. I mean, yeah. I mean, what what are the things that you can do? I mean, it's you got yeah, skydiving, giving away some stuff. Yeah, sacrificing you, a kitten. I don't know. Because <laughs> you you know the videos. Someone said this in the chat, but the, the videos where people proclaim, "Hey guys, I got a two hundred thousand subscribers. Yay me!" That's when people unsubscribe from you. Yeah, no, like exactly. seriously, because they, they, you're bragging, and and I I just I don't brag about the numbers. I I don't because it's I have. I'm not doing anything to cause it. So. Yeah. Well, I uh, I am free to reign to say congratulations because that's well, a really great uh, accomplishment. And well, well, thank you. Lots of hard work went into that uh, number. So thank five, you. Yeah, nearly nearly five years. So yeah. yeah. Yep. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this past week, I have been getting yeah. back on the YouTube bandwagon, and I'm also trying to figure out how to work my computer. Um, uh, <laughs> so I've I did um a new vlog that I actually sort of mentioned uh two weeks ago was calling to the past so i listened to old voice messages some of them were six oh, yeah. years old um a few wow. of them weren't uh no huge revelation but it was it was kind of cool to see and then on top of that i started a new um uh well you keep saying like you're getting away from format i keep feeling that i'm tr i'm looking for format <laughs> Okay. Like, like yeah. Uh, anyway, the next, the newest thing uh, was uh, a, a interview series um, with YouTube with YouTube Minecrafters, and so uh, my first one went up, and that's actually gotten quite a lot of traffic for a small channel like mine, uh, and that's with Joe Hills, um, and we built a um, a library while we were doing the interview, which was okay. That's what I awesome. thought was kind of cool. Uh, yeah. Because I didn't want it just to be boring or like me looking at his avatar or whatever, so um, we kind of got in and 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 derped around and and uh, made a library. So that that's is really cool, man. That is really unique. Thanks, thanks. Yeah. I hope that that is I, I, what I, yeah, what I really want is just to hang out with some of the, some of the coolest people um, on YouTube, and and uh, I think that that series will help me do it. 
Okay. So awesome, that dude. is about it for this week in YouTube. Thank you so much yeah. for watching. Uh, you can catch us on the web at youtube.com slash T-W-I-Y-T to make sure that you subscribe and catch all of our future videos. If you love mm. the channel, make sure that um, you catch all of the all of the next stuff. Of course, you can always look back in the archives and uh, all the way back to episode zero, um, which is also great, uh, great, great stuff. Do um, it. We record live every Monday at around 5 p.m. Pacific. That's around 8 p.m. <laughs> Eastern time. If you want to check us out then, um, that is live.twit.tv. Thank you, everyone, for watching. We will see you on the next episode. Bye, Bye guys. In three, two. This is This Week in YouTube, episode 20, recorded August 26, 2013. Live from YouTube, it's Saturday night. Did they say Saturday Night Live? No! Oh my God, do it again. God damn it. <laughs> damn it, Chet. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> what do they do? They don't do Saturday Night Live, do they? No, no, live in New York, it's Saturday night. Yeah, no, it's, yeah. It's not it. I had it right. Yeah. No, but he did. Yes. That's what I thought. Well, I thought live. they said live yeah, here. No. Live would be redundant. It's live from New York. <laughs> it's Saturday night. If you said live twice, it'd be dumb. Ah, uh, okay. You're right. You're right. I'm sorry.